Today we're going to be doing multiplication and division of rational numbers. This is section 2-5 and 2-6 in your textbook. The basic rules of multiplying and dividing are when you take positive sign times a positive sign, your answer is positive. When you multiply a negative by a negative, your answer is positive. also positive. <laughs> When you multiply a negative or divide by a negative by a positive, what do you get? Negative. A negative. And if you multiply a positive by a negative, negative. you get a negative. negative. Okay, good. Now let's do some specific examples. Negative one-third times two-sevenths. What's that going to be equal to? Anybody? Negative two over says? 21. Exactly, because it's right there. Okay. Um, negative one-twelfth. We've worked through these, but we're going to go through them anyway, because this is a quick review. Negative 1 12th times negative 4 over 17. What we did there was simplify because 4 goes into 12. We were left with 1 over 3. And then again, we have a negative times a negative. Our answer is positive. And it happens to be 1 over 51 because on the top you are left with 1 times 1, 3 times 17. Uh, we actually don't usually leave that there. We just put it like that. Um, notice that the negative sign is on the top part of the fraction. That works, that's convention. It doesn't have to be. If this were negative one third, if this were one over negative three, it would still be negative one third, okay? But down to here, we have a decimal. This is negative 0.3 times negative two times negative one. And the, the rules don't change if you have two, three, four, five things multiplied together. You just do it progressively. So negative 0.3, we've got a negative times a negative. And that's gonna be a positive because we've got, so we end up with positive 0.6. And doing it in steps, as always, we do them steps, then we rewrite it. We go 0.6 times negative 1, because it's a positive times a negative, we get negative 0.6. Don't forget to write it in steps. Don't be tempted to do it all in one shot. That's where people make silly mistakes. They don't do the second step, and then boom, next thing you know, it's wrong. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay? So now we're going to move over to here. There's a couple rules for multiplying and dividing with kind of different numbers. There's two special cases, basically. Um, negative one does some special things. Does anybody know what negative one does? What does it say up there? Amanda? Um, it gives the opposite. Yeah, it gives the opposite. A negative, when you multiply by negative one, it turns whatever you multiplied, in whatever number you're multiplying, into its opposite. So in this case, we've got five. And if we multiply it by negative one, we end up with negative five. Negative five. Negative Good. Five. And if we took negative five, and multiplied by negative one, we'd get? Positive exactly. So negative one has that quality of switching things into their opposites. Um, the other number that's kind of, you know, unique is zero. And what is the rule with zero? Let's have Jonathan. Uh, everything that you multiply or divide it by, it turns into zero. Yeah, exactly. Uh, zero is kind of like the, it's sort of like the bomb. It destroys everything in a way. You know, it takes everything down to zero. That's one way to look at it if you want that metaphor. Zero times ten is zero. What happened to your ten? It's gone. Zero nuked. It's gone. What about eight million times zero? Give the money. Zero. There you go. Give the money. Zero. The bomb. Anyway, zero is the bomb. Over here, we're going to do some exponents. Um, these questions were given to you to try out. Um, exponents are tricky, but really, if you know this basic rule, you'll be fine. When you have a um, even exponent, in other words, like a square. Are you zooming in on this? When I get yeah. you zooming in. Are you, are you getting the zoom button? Um, so when you have a square and you take a negative number, an integer that's negative, and you square it, what do you get, Shannon? Yeah, that's fine. Um, anybody know what you get over here, Austin? Positive. This is positive one, right? Positive one, yeah. So negative two to the fifth. Now you've got an odd. You know what I mean by odd? You know what I'm saying, Natalia? Five is an odd number, right? So this is negative, and what's our answer going to be? Do you know by looking at that and saying because it's odd? Green negative. It's going to be negative. negative. What's our answer? Negative. It happens it's to be odd. two times two. Negative two times negative two is four 32. times negative two. Exactly. It's going to be negative thirty-two because if you multiply negative two times negative two. You get 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2 is 16. Times negative 2 is negative 32. Okay? You can try it at home. What about negative 1 to the 7th, Tamara? Um, that'd be a negative 1 to the 
Negative one, good. So you gotta know those rules real well. Even and odd exponents. Uh, even gives you a negative. even gives you a positive answer. Wait, please. And the negative gives you a negative answer. We're gonna do this together, uh, despite the bell. So you have to wait. Bad. Don't worry. Um, okay, this one here. What, where do we start on this one? The exponents, or in the parentheses. In the parentheses, PEMDAS, as usual. Negative three, so right inside here or right over here? Does it matter? It, it, does, it does kind of, because this is the bigger bracket, yeah. so because it's an internal core type thing, this will be done third. What's three to the, What's three cubed? 27. All right, well, I'm going to do this because we're... Well, I'm going to do this over here. We're running out of time, so I'm going to wipe that out. So we've got four, and I'm going to rewrite this. Two to the fourth is equal to what? Eight. Two okay, times two is times 16. two. 16. 16. And then 16. this is negative, negative, and three cubed is 27. 27. 27. All right. Times six. And now we've just got some multiplying to do, and we have a negative here, and everything else is positive. So what's our answer going to be? It's gonna negative be or negative. positive? It's positive. It's going to be negative, because negative times a positive is negative. That's going to be negative, because when you multiply negative times a positive, it stays negative, and again there. So what did we get? We got 64 here times, what's six times negative 27, anybody? Negative 162, I believe. I think it's negative Yep, and then anybody with a calculator, you get that? Anybody multiply those two together? Right. Can you get it? Can you get the exact amount, please? The exact amount? Can I get the exact amount, please? Ten thousand eight. What do you mean, ten thousand eight? No, it isn't. What is it? It's not ten thousand. One second. I think it's ten thousand. Not ten thousand eight. It's ten thousand three hundred sixty-eight. Negative ten thousand three hundred sixty-eight. Eight. 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 <laughs> All right, good. Now the last one. We'll move over here. Wait, please. Real quick, a couple def uh, division problems. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is negative 5, 6 times 4 over 3. And that equals negative 20 over 18, which is equal to negative 10 over 9, which is equal to negative 1 and 1 ninth. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for waiting. Take care of Austin and Marshall. Shut up. Bye.